Happy New Year, one and all, and an all-new month with an all-new batch of e-readers. What's going to happen this year? We have absolutely no earthly idea, but in case you missed it, here is everything released in January 2024. Pocketbook Inkpad X Pro Well, alright, this was released in 2023 at the very end, but we didn't get our sample till January, so we'll include it on this list. What you get with this unit is Google Play and note-taking. On a pocketbook? Yeah, you heard that correctly, one of the weirdest combinations and most certainly we did not expect. Pocketbook has traditionally always played it quite safe when it comes to releases of ebook readers, except for this one. On this one, they went completely off the rails and tried several new things, and now their collaboration with Big Me makes them work even more outside the box. However, because of that, they're now able to compete in a subsector of e-readers that they've never touched before, Google Play-enabled eNotes, which forecasts an all-new era for the company. Kyobo Sam 7.8 Plus Second an interesting release, to say the least, comes in the form of a Kyobo. Quick one-sentence backstory, 12 years ago, this Korean bookstore chain created an e-paper alternative device with a small screen from Mirasol. Now they're trying to get into e-paper, but with a less than conventional approach by purchasing a white-labeled MeBook, of all things. The unit mimics the MeBook in every single usable way, including the operating system as well as the UI. The pen is even the same. The unit, however, is white, offering a little bit of variety, but honestly, there's not much to say. The onboard Kyobo apps don't even work outside of South Korea. I suppose this marks the 12th manufacturer to use Google Play, but not much outside of that. Famue Blowing up Reddit comes a device that doesn't even know what to call itself. Pronounced fan mu, despite having famue written no less than 12 times on the box, device, and accompanying materials. This unit boasts tremendous benefits to being both an ebook reader and a digital audio player, despite the fact that it can do neither. After much exhaustive investigation, we can't find any audible benefits to this having high fidelity or high quality audio capabilities whatsoever. And from the ebook front, it can only read text files. Alright. Not only that, there's no glow light and it has a reflective screen. But it's nice that they give you a screen protector. Oh, but that's reflective as well. Onyx Books Palma White. Announced back in September 19th of 2023, the Palma promised small, compact, yet high quality and highly capable ebook reading, as well as being a dedicated Android Google Play enabled tablet. But don't worry, they fulfilled that, except for one thing. There was a white version available as well. Unfortunately, this unit was seemingly indefinitely delayed as it never saw the light of day. Four months later, it was actually released. This marks the longest delay of a color variant in our industry. Coming in at a whopping 130 days after inception. It brings literally no change in any way, shape, or form outside the color change, but it's nice to see that the legend finally has come to a close. Radware! Geiger Counter! A real Geiger counter is now in the form of an e-ink watch. Coming from a company called Radware comes a one-trick pony unit that is a passive dosimeter. The unit is capable of detecting ionizing radiation, which is a type of radiation that includes electromagnetic waves that fly through the air, aka if you're near radiation of some sort, it should register on the watch. Because it is not analog, it is not necessarily a live representation of the then and there, but there is a grand total meter as well, so you can see if you hit your yearly allotment of sieverts. Not particularly a busy month, but busy for January. We seem to have had a hodgepodge of releases come out this month. Which, if January is going to be any indication of what's to come this year, 2024 is going to be one heck of a ride. This is everything released in 2024, January. <laughs>